Hello, everybody! I am Moly Worst, and this is Dark Souls 2 once again. And I believe there's not much left of the base game other than the bosses that I haven't killed yet, such as the Smelter Demon, and the Belfry Gargoyles, and the Dark Lurker, that's what it is. I ain't going after them just yet. There's still the DLC stuff that needs to be done. Gotta go get all three of them missing crowns. Once I do that, then the actual final boss will be available. The only other bosses other than those three optional ones I just mentioned. Oh, there's also the Ancient Dragon. I haven't fought him yet. I will do that later, but anywho... The other... The, the, the bosses that, I'm, that are not optional for beating the game, like the Throne Watcher and Defender, and then what is supposed to be the final boss... What is actually the second to actual final boss if you get all three of the crowns, which I planned on doing. Oh wait, Vendrick. I still have to kill Vendrick too. That's what the giant souls I get. I will worry about him later, but for now, I'm going to the area of the... Okay, I'm poisoned. I'm going to the area... Okay, fuck off, woodland child gully. Ah, you're gone now. As I was saying before Woodland Child Gully decided he wanted to interrupt me, I am heading to the... whatever it's called. The place fr that the, from the DLC pack that was called Crown of the Sunken King, I believe. It is this way, right in here. I do believe I have the thing for it. If not, I may have to go and look it up on the internet because I don't feel like wasting time trying to remember on my own. I do believe I got it, or maybe that's the one thing out of the three that I didn't grab yet. We will find out once I reach that door. Open, I says. Yeah, I do have the thing for it. I believe it might have been that thing down in the hole in Majula. Don't know... Oh wait, I'm missing the one that leads me to the crown of the Ivory King. I'm gonna need to remember how to find that one. But for now, we march. We march onto the land of the sunken city of whatever this place is called. I forget its name, but its name is not important. My hair won't stay out of my eye. And the contents of the city, that's what matters. There is a crown here, and a dragon with a slant stuck in his chest. Shulva. That's easy to remember because it sounds kind of like shovel. You need a shovel to reach this place because it's all underground. Oh. There he is. There is that dragon I mentioned. Gonna have to fight him later. There he goes, off into his slumber or something. Dragons like slumber. And I, my hair likes sitting in front of my eye. Come on, hair. Stay out of my eye. I need my depth perception here, even though it doesn't help me much. In this game, and why do I have life gems selected? I needs my burr. That is what I need, just the burr. I do recall there also being some optional bosses included in the DLC places. Like in this one, there's a group of, uh, these guys who will probably kick my ass if I attempt to fight them one on one. And I don't feel like putting myself through that torture, though I might. Anything for the views, am I right, YouTube? That's the way we gotta do the things. I can't remember which way I'm supposed to go. It's been a while. Jumping and then death. I believe you. I'm not going to try it. Wings required ahead. You're damn right on that account you are. Here. 
Oh, here we go. There's the path. Now we making some progress and we gotta deal with this guy. He survived the attack. He knows how to withstand the wrath of Darth Mulberry Boosh. That ain't good for my health. No, it is not. Oh, we got an arrow shooting guy, and guys getting up. How dare you? How dare you trick me? Think and make you make me think that you dead. You cannot be a dead if you are alive. So how dare you act like a dead when you are indeed alive? I'm a coming for you, arrow boy. Your arrows will do you no good in hell. I am going to die. I forgot how much damage these guys do. Don't shoot me. I do not want to get shot. Getting shot will be very deadly to me right now. Am I safe? I think I'm safe. Very, very safe. Excellent. Not safe. Not safe. Get out of the, the shield. You did not raise the shield in time. For your decision, I respect your courage upon facing death of stupidity and being dumb. Oh, cock, I got smacked! Let's just lure them over this way this time. That'll make it easier. I won't have to worry about getting shot that way. Come on! You got the wrath of Darth Mulberry Boosh to look forward to. Oh, damn, my needs, my shield. There we go, one down. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. I don't like it when that happens. I probably should have waited. Okay, I should not have waited. That was the perfect time to do the drinkings. Ha-ha, you've been defeated. You cannot stand no more, what with your flesh being cut off of your body and all of that. Now, Arrow Boy, we've got business to discuss. The business that makes it to where you don't shoot arrows at me anymore. Stop living. There we go. There's more arrow guys. I'm getting smarter. I know that I ought to be shooting these guys. Shoot them from a distance. That'll take care of them easy. Without me having to step into his trap. Ow. I can see that arrow as I try to draw my own arrow. Stop shooting me. I is the one that shoot is the you. I think shoot is is a word. There we go. Nice and dead. No longer alive you are. Health for me. Health is good. Health is bad for you. Why don't you let me take that health away from you? You don't need it. I need it more than you. Now let's be careful here and dodge. I, my shot missed. Get him. Make him die! Oh, right in the head. Ha ha! Rolling to the left is probably not a good idea. Hmm, I thought I saw. Yes, I did saw. I saw Putty Tat. Indeed I did. He come for me with a big ass mace. He wants to smash my face. Oh, with his mace. A mace, a face, a smash, and it is. I will not stand for this, Mr. Putty Tat. I taught a tall booty tat, I did, I did tall booty tat, and he got a mace and he's going the wrong way. Get over here, you dingus. I think I gotta hit that. Okay. Why are you not flinching when I hit you? Cheater! You're supposed to not move after getting hit. Dems the rules. You live by the rules, or you die. That's simple. You're gonna die anyway because you suck. There. See? Much better when you're not alive. Life is for me, not for you. Right in the back. That's the ticket. Now we can move on. There's still one arrow guy who I've already shot a couple of times. But he ain't gonna be doing no trouble. And that's right. I remember I gotta hit these things. There we go. That... Might have made things a little bit easier, trying to avoid the things. Maybe it would have, maybe it wouldn't have. I don't know. What's your logic? Because that one's mine. I didn't shoot you a couple of times. I was mistaken. Doesn't matter, you're dead. You got the deaded. Now I will take your possessions. 
And dropping down there, I believe, would be instant death, as there is no way out of there, and I'm supposed to do this. Oh, yeah! Smack it, and it turns in, it goes on down! Yay! Oh, no! There's a guy! He's very... guy-like. That is quite a guy right there. The kind of guy that you want to say, that makes you say, he's a guy. A very guy-like guy. Now I will need you to stop living for me, sir. And I need a better strategy than just standing there and spinning my thing around. And I just remembered I got another helmet that, I, that goes along with this set, that it, but it's not as good as Vengarl's helmet. No, sir, not as good. What I need is some better armor, or a better strategy of fighting these guys. Praise the sun? Yes, the sun does indeed need praising, but praising in a sun ain't gonna help me right here. <sighs> what to do? What to do? Maybe I smack this thing, and it turns, and it goes down, and I'm stepping onto this. Probably good idea. Bad idea. Maybe. Visions of despair. What the hell are you talking about? This is a newfound location. It's very location-like. Oh. Perhaps this is what he meant by visions of despair. I done went trapped myself now, didn't I? Or maybe I didn't. Maybe I could come over here and take this nice shiny object. It is mine now! Longbow plus seven! I already got a bow! It's better than that bow! And I do believe I am stuck here. Forever. This is my home now. My nice little home in the middle of this hellhole. Ain't that nice. Yeah, this is my home. You ain't taking it from me. It belongs to me, nobody else. After having used the aged feather to get out of that little situation, our hero goes to find that the enemies have all respawned. Damn. He was hoping he wouldn't have to sit at the bonfire and just go on along with all the enemies having been slain. But that ain't the, the case. I gotta slay them all again. Joyous day it is for all who have to die once again. Yay! <laughs> His thing's spinning. Look at it spin. It sure is having a good time right there. That spinning mace thingy. Oh god, it's going faster. It's going even faster than it has before. Oh god, it's consuming the world. We're all going to die inside of a giant spinning mace. Oh. I have run out of time for this episode, unfortunately. At the beginning of the next one, I'll have all them guys dead so that I can actually proceed rather than having to fight them in the next one. Unless I die in the next one, then I'm gonna have to fight them again, which is going to suck. But that's the risk you take when you play Dark Souls. And until then, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye!